is the Celebrity Afterlife Report podcast. Hey, 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 I'm so happy you're here today. I am the Celebrity Medium, back with another edition of the Celebrity Afterlife Report. The only show you can find... I defy you to find another one. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and look. Go ahead, I defy you. The only show that brings you the up-to-the-minute gossip about all your favorite deceased celebrities. We have not one, not two, but three recent arrivals to the afterlife to tell you about on this show. Plus a follow-up to a story we've been following for a few weeks. And I can see no reason not to just dive right in. Uh, If you're in the United States, you certainly heard that uh, Senator John McCain, war hero, POW, and Senator, as aforementioned, just arrived in the afterlife. You probably even heard about it if you're not in the United States. Well, he got there and looked kind of tired, I'm told. That happens once in a while. Most people get there looking refreshed as if they hadn't been through anything on the earthly plane. And everyone, when they get there, looks as they did at their adult best, and that's no uh, exception for McCain. But he did look tired, I hear. And he was immediately taken out on stage in front of a huge audience composed mostly of former Americans. I asked what he'd like to do in the afterlife. He said, well, sit down for a bit. To which the crowd laughed. Okay. Uh, my my bet noir. Fred Trump, father of the American president, just had to stick his nose into McCain's arrival by putting out a press release announcing that McCain would not be featured in his under construction, except it actually isn't under construction at the moment because of a uh, dispute he has with uh, famous scientist Nikola Tesla, but his under construction hall of human greatness. Really kind of a petty move. You know, nobody was wondering if McCain was going to be there right now. But Fred Trump just had to say, no, he's not going to be in it yet. Because Fred Trump will always take his son's side in anything at all, no matter how large or small. Uh, when McCain was told there's no such thing as governments or wars in the next world, he replied, that sounds like heaven to me. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> Robin Leach, former star of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Do you remember that show? He also just arrived in the afterlife. Uh, Basically, it was a show where he went around and visited famous, rich, famous people. And uh, he would drop in and they would show him his home and their cars. It was, you know, just show off kind of stuff. Well, occasionally happens once in a while. Robin Leach was delayed in arriving. Even though he ended his time on the earthly plane before Senator McCain did, he arrived there after McCain. Nobody really knows why that happens. It just happens every once in a while. And his welcoming crowd was a fraction of the size of the one that greeted McCain. Not surprising. You know, he was a, a minor celebrity, Robin Leach, but McCain was kind of a big deal, especially with veterans. And after he made a short speech to the people in attendance... Leach asked if there was a particular section of the next world where rich people live. So it was explained to him that, yeah, while there are a few places that house people who are wealthy on the earthly plane pretty much exclusively, people are free to live wherever they want. I'm going out on a limb here, but it's not a real flimsy limb. That question suggests to me he's thinking about reviving his old show or something along the same lines, maybe? We'll know when we know, and not a moment sooner. And the last of our bumper crop of new arrivals, playwright Neil Simon also just arrived in the next world. In fact, with all this happening, that's why this show was delayed. This show should have been online like two days ago. But there was just so much going on and so much I had to talk to my sources about. I just, I, I didn't want to put any of those arrivals off until the next show. So just, just a little note so you understand what happened there. I am told that Neil Simon was thrilled to find out that there is a theater name for him there. Just as there is on the earthly plane in uh, Midtown Manhattan in the Broadway section. 
The operators of the theater approached her immediately after his arrival ceremony ended. They wanted to offer him a position as the permanent producer and playwright at the Neil Simon Theater in the next world. And I'm told that uh, Neil Simon gratefully accepted, because that's kind of a cool deal, right? So the theater owners jokingly apologized him for not having paid royalties for years of doing productions of his plays. And Simon laughed and said, no problem, I didn't even know you guys were doing it. So apparently he's, he's already set up. But, I mean, the guy had a 60-year career in show business and produced... There were two, two occasions when Neil Simon had four plays simultaneously on Broadway. That's, like, unheard of. So he certainly deserves what he's, he's getting right now in the afterlife. Last show, I told you about veteran actress Charlotte Ray arriving in the afterlife and accepting a part on the sitcom Happy Wife, Happy Life. I said from everything that's been told to me about the show by my Next World sources, I would have advised Ms. Ray not to take the part. The show, it's popular apparently, like very popular, but it just sounds horrible. Well, turns out I seem to have been right to feel that way. Rumors coming from the set say that no sooner did Charlotte Ray arrive for work on her first day than Edith Tolson, the former director of the FBI, then known as J. Edgar Hoover, before her gender reassignment surgery in the next world, Edith Tolson took her aside and told her in no uncertain terms that she, Tolson, was the HBIC in the cast. You know what HBIC stands for? Head bitch in charge. And that Charlotte should watch out not to step on her toes. Now I'm told that Charlotte Ray was reportedly shocked by the confrontation. Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? You get to work for the first day. You're in an entirely new environment. Everything is different. You have a great reputation as an actress. You show up for work, and this other person takes you on the side and starts reading you the riot act. So she went and reported it to the producers, which was 100% appropriate, in my opinion. So the word is that at least until things are straightened out, the show is going to be written so that the two women are not in any scenes together. They'll never have to appear on camera together. Tough start for her new existence in eternity for Charlotte Ray. Sorry about that, Ms. Ray. And with that, we uh, bring down the curtain on this edition of the Celebrity Afterlife Report. Be sure to come back next week. When, uh, you know, if God's willing and the creeks don't rise, I'll be here with another one. And I've got lots to tell you then as now about all the doings of your favorite deceased celebrities. Between now and then, there's things you can do to help us along here. You can get on iTunes and you can thumbs up the show. You can subscribe to it. You can comment. You can do all that stuff. You can get on the Google Play Store. You can do similar things. You can get on YouTube and do those things as well. Comment. Like it. Tell your friends. It's much appreciated. If you're in the Los Angeles area, you can also listen to the show on K Chung Radio AM 1630, where it airs on Mondays as part of a show called Inspirado Projecto Radio. That's two weeks in a row I haven't screwed up the name of that show. <laughs> this may be the proudest moment of my entire life. I am the Celebrity Medium. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to the Celebrity Afterlife Report podcast. To ask a question about your favorite deceased celebrity, call 818-3-MY-DREAM. 818-3-MY-DREAM. 818-369-3732.